right, so here's the heavyweight hopeful Curtis Razor Blades. He's done a whole lot of winning in the UFC. It seems like most of the guys he tries to take down, he is able to do so. What have you seen from Curtis Blades thus far in the octagon? Curtis Blades has only been beaten by Francis Ngannou in his UFC career. So when you set him against anyone else, he's the guy that is more likely to get his hand raised. It's the wrestling ability, it's the cardio, and it's the underrated striking of Curtis Blades that makes him one of the best heavyweights in the entire world. Won a Juco National Championship as a wrestler at Harper College. That came after he earned a full ride to Northern Illinois University. Looking to put his best foot forward here tonight and potentially earn his first UFC championship opportunity. exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, four losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, Curtis Racer. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, good to the rules in the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fight. The fighters touch him up. Garden. It's crazy to think that not all that long ago, mixed martial arts was not regulated in New York. When that legislation came down, the UFC came strong, and we've been omnipresent ever since. John, we kick the door in. Yes. If you're gonna open, if you're gonna say you're welcome in MSG, the UFC is coming. And every time we have gone there, we have brought phenomenal fight cards to some of the biggest moments in the UFC. Now, the Knicks will just get the right time. Knicks will never get the right time. I'm a king. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Right hand punch the clinch. All right, single collar tie now. Blades gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You got to do better defensively. And they separate. Blades gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Straight punch lands. Oh, 
little single collar tie there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And lands an elbow on the inside. It's very tricky when he throws that body Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Blades. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. That right hand landed. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Slips the punch nicely there. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guards. He's taking all of that kick every time he goes. 20 seconds now remain in the ref. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lou. That horn sound means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so let's see how he responds here, DC, after a big, big round for his opponent, courtesy of those leg kicks. I mean, he landed so many leg kicks. It's hard to understand how his opponent is not checking any of them. What is he doing in the octagon that is confusing him so much? But until his opponent answers those questions, it is not on him to change anything. Continue to throw those kicks. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good stuff. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nice kick. Both guys really throwing with authority. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Just over three minutes to go. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Blades. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice defense there, huge block. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Just missed with the left there. 
And they separate. Lands flush with that right hand. Ooh, head kick lands hurt. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is now underway. DC, Good. any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmaker did a fantastic job when they put these two in the Oh! Finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Defense holds up. And they separate. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish. Down. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big leg kick land. Big off crunch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real goal. That's the oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt, he's been battered, he's been beat. And now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land the strike that is the fight. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you the fight. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to start to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. No more, no more, no more, no more. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Man, that was beautiful, man. You had him hurt. You should have put him away. He was hurt. He was ready for that final blow. All right. He's probably still hurt. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Big kick lands.
Left hand punch with the clinch. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Quick entry to get Man, him on a single. That was a great single. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Rotates the lock and throws him way through the air. What a massive takedown. Blades has got his back now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Lands with the ground and pound. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Back mount now. Just back in full mouth. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture. Rain down big strikes on your opponent. Connects with a right. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Blades has got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Blades is right back to the full mount here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Ten seconds to go in round two. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position especially for a wrestler. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, big run. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's re the highlight now, DC, and he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at 21 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout, Curtis Grayson! Well, he's smiling ear to ear and 